Hello and welcome to Daily Red Video. In this video, we will see how to fix the Wi-Fi uh, issues with OSX Yosemite uh, latest update, uh, which uh, released by Apple at the end of January 2015. Uh, they have released uh, the 10.10.2 update to all OSX Yosemite uh, users uh, for stability and performance improvements, uh, also to address some major issues uh, that caused Wi-Fi frequent disconnect problem, uh, Bluetooth headset problem, and a uh, few others. Uh, but after updating to the uh, latest version of 10.10.2, uh, many users have reported uh, slow speed uh, issues and uh, uh, Wi-Fi frequently getting disconnected. Uh, it was working fine. For me, it was working fine with uh, uh, OSX 10.10.2, uh, 10.1 and earlier versions. But after updating to 10.10.2, I started to face this Wi-Fi frequent disconnect problem. So uh, the first thing, uh, you know, is uh, I should give a proper credit to the uh, one who suggested the solution and it was found working for many users and I tried it and it is working for me too. Uh, so I thought to come up with uh, this uh, video uh, to help more people. Um, so uh, the uh, I have attached the link uh, to the Apple support community page uh, the username is Lysen and he suggested the uh, rollback of the Wi-Fi driver alone uh, to fix this issue um, all right so the first thing uh, step one is uh, go go to your extensions directory uh, which you can uh, visit by going to spotlight and uh, go to system slash library slash extensions so in that just type uh, uh, press enter and you will be taken to the directory so here it is and um, go to that file that is ios 802.11 family.kext this is the file responsible for all wireless uh, connectivity uh, your wi-fi driver uh, so right click and take a backup of this file save it so here i have named it as osx 10.10.2 wi-fi driver backup uh, safely store it here and then you have to replace this file with a file uh, suggested by him if you already have a backup of your ios 10.10.1 uh, wi-fi driver version then you can restore it safely uh, if you don't have a backup you can download the backup of license uh, from apple support community uh, from the link i have uh, attached below in the description so here i have uh, downloaded the file which is osx802.11 uh, so simply copy that and come to this page and paste it so here you will see a prompt uh, to replace just click on replace and it will complete the uh, replacing of the driver also make sure uh, before performing all this step uh, you should have disconnected your Wi-Fi uh, by uh, going to network preferences or simply clicking on the Wi-Fi icon at the top right corner of desktop of your desktop so uh, do all these actions uh, after making the Wi-Fi inactive so it is not recommended to do these uh, replacing thing uh, if the connection is still active All right, so this should fix uh, the Wi-Fi connectivity problem. And make sure, you know, once you have replaced it, uh, try connecting your Wi-Fi once again. Um, if it prompts for password, just enter the password of your Wi-Fi router and it'll be working fine then. Thanks for watching and do feel free to ask any questions in the comment box below. Have a wonderful day.